Me llaman el desaparecido Cuando llega ya se ha ido Volando vengo, volando voy De prisa, de prisa, rumbo perdido Cuando me buscan nunca estoy Cuando me encuentran... For some reason the Spanish film industry seems to be really adept at making sub-Hitchcockian thrillers Maybe it's the mix of Southern European eroticism and Catholic guilt, or Spanish culture's emphasis on sex and death that favor the psychological thriller, with its mysteries, revelations, and creeping anxieties. Number five, thesis or thesis, is Alejandro Amenabar's first feature film. Am Amenabar, of course, went on to direct the others. Thesis is an immaculately trashy genre movie about a student writing a thesis on violence. Her research leads to the discovery of a snuff movie. Uh, the plot thickens and the intrigue develops from there. It has aspects of psychological thriller, horror and mystery. It's made by a fanboy, a film student and a precocious talent. So it's both self-consciously conventional and quite meta. This film is shot in Madrid where Amenabar studied and it's very distinctly madrileño. The success of Tesis actually meant that other psychological thrillers were greenlit in the Spanish film industry, such as 1999's Nadie Conoce a Nadie, Nobody Knows Anybody, which is a substandard thriller set during Holy Week in Seville, starring Eduardo Noruega, so very Spanish, but the plot's a bit ridiculous, uh, worth a look if you have the time. Number four. The precocious talent that Amenabar demonstrated in Tesis comes to fruition in his follow-up Abre los ojos, Open your eyes, later remade by Hollywood starring Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz and Radiohead. This movie is even more lofty, more philosophical, more psychological. It's the perfect nothing is quite what it seems movie. Uh, it's disturbing, thought-provoking, beautiful, uh, a young director becoming a star. Number three is The Orphanage, which is a bit of an instant classic from director Juan Luis Bayona. Touching on classic ghost story themes such as skeletons in the closet, repressed memories, trauma, illness, and tension in family and marital relationships. It's beautifully shot, great pacing, uh, compelling and really scary. Uh, it has the perfect gothic orphanage, uh, a fantastic rain scene, and some really nice photography of the Catalonian coast. Although it's in Spanish and shot in Spain, it's made very much uh, with an eye on the world market in terms of style, tone, and filmmaking conventions, but that doesn't stop it from being a great movie. Number two is Los Cronocrimenes or Time Crimes, directed by Nacho Vigalondo and released in 2007. Much like the indie hit Primer, which is also highly recommendable, it does great things with the time travel movie on a low budget. It's tense, compelling, scary, and a really enjoyable puzzle. Number one, the success of the orphanage meant that the producers reinvested their profits and brought in some new talent. The product was Hierro, released in 2009. It's a particularly melancholy and harrowing psychological thriller about personal tragedy, the loss of a child, mental illness, fear of going on holidays, finding oneself in a hostile environment, and the very sinister nature of car ferries. And lastly, uh, an honourable mention goes to La Piel Que Habito, or The Skin I Live In, by the much celebrated Pedro Almodovar. It's a great, creepy thriller, notable for some beautiful photography of Gothic Galicia.